lead to the commercialization of sodium ion batteries as soon as the cost of lithium ion batteries will increase again. The cost of lithium has risen from $4,450 per ton in 2012 to $78,032 in 2022. That's an increase of 1,654% in the past decade and a 480% increase in just the past year. Now, what if a new battery costs only about $15.15 per kilowatt hour compared to the $100 $101 per kilowatt hour price of a lithium based battery. This is exactly the exciting battery innovation that CALT has to offer. So, what makes the cost of this groundbreaking battery so low? What other advantages come with it? All this and more in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Battery technology is moving so fast that sometimes it's hard to keep up. That being said, CATL has set up a large supply chain for the batteries and has entered negotiations with some car makers about the possibilities of sodium ion battery use. Sodium ion technology is ready, cheap, and safe. But can it oust lithium ion? Elon Musk tweeted that the price of lithium has gone to insane levels. So how then does the price of a sodium ion battery compare? The absolute advantage of sodium ion is the low cost. Sodium is 2.3% of the world's crust. It's over 1,000 times more abundant than lithium. From the perspective of raw materials for anodes, the recent price of lithium carbonate is 570,000 per ton, while the price of sodium carbonate is less than $3,000 per ton. This means it is 190 times cheaper than a lithium ion battery. CALT even said that sodium has better conductivity and that the concentration of the electrolyte can be reduced, which also reduces the cost by about 85%. And they're, they're more common, uh, easily found, cheaper. Those are the advantages. The average price of a Tesla 4680 battery pack will be $101 per kilowatt hour in 2022. We can then use this to calculate the new battery costs, which is roughly at $15.15 .15 per kilowatt hour, or nearly seven times less than the 4680 battery. Thus, if you own a Tesla Model 3 standard range with an estimated battery, pa battery capacity of 50 kilowatt hours, instead of having to pay $5,050 for a revolutionary game changer battery, the cost is really low. But then how far can the sodium ion battery actually go? Its applications in passenger cars have shown that it generally meets the needs of models with a range of up to 248 miles. Through pioneering its AB battery system integration technology, CATL has achieved a mix of sodium ion and lithium ion, allowing them to complement each other and thus increase the energy density of the battery system. This approach approach allows sodium ion batteries to be able to support EV models with a range of up to 310 miles, while the 4680 Model Y has only a 279 mile range. But charging time is what most electric vehicles often care about. So how long would it take to charge a sodium ion battery? CATL's sodium ion cells can charge in 15 minutes to 80% at room temperature. For comparison, with fast charging at a public station, a Model Y from Tesla recharged from 0 to 80% in 32 minutes, which is over two times longer than the sodium ion battery. Now, how well does sodium ion perform in freezing temperatures? Lithium ion batteries can only function optimally at 15 degrees to 35 degrees Celsius, which is why they are problematic in the wintertime. CATL's sodium ion battery will sustain a 90% capacity retention rate at negative 20 degrees Celsius and still has a retention rate of more than 70% at negative 40 degrees Celsius. In winter, the problem of electric vehicles inability to cruise will no longer be apparent. Also, we haven't seen anything that says there is a significant degradation at higher temperatures either. Now, how safe are sodium ion batteries actually? The sodium ion battery has similar working principles to the lithium ion battery. Sodium ions also shuttle between the cathode and anode. However, compared to lithium ions, sodium 
sodium ions have a larger volume as well as higher requirements in terms of structural stability and kinetic properties. This has become a bottleneck for the industrialization of sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries are safer because they are less flammable than lithium ion batteries. Newly developed sodium ion technology uses a naturally fire extinguishing solution that is also impervious to temperature changes and can operate at high voltages. One key to this feature is the ultra-thin protective layer that forms on the anode. This ultra-thin layer remains stable once formed, providing the long cycle life reported in the research article. Despite making significant breakthroughs, the chemical composition of lithium metal batteries has always posed a lot of challenges. What are they exactly? No, I understand that sodium ion batteries have a, a lower energy density than lithium ion. The biggest downside is that sodium ion batteries have a lower energy density than lithium ion batteries. This means an EV with a sodium battery that's the same size as a standard lithium ion battery would not be able to travel as far on a single charge. CATL's first generation sodium battery generates 160 watt hours of electricity next to a mainstream lithium battery. Last year, CATL unveiled its first sodium battery prototype and said it's been focusing on developing new technologies for a second generation sodium battery that can generate 200 watt hours per kilogram. In contrast, mainstream lithium ion batteries have 200 to 300 watt hours per kilogram. Although their lower energy density is improving constantly, the first generation of sodium ion batteries is better than lithium ion cells from six or seven years ago. How about real life applications? It makes a difference in the kind of applications in which they're used. The first generation of sodium ion batteries can be used in various transportation electrification scenarios, especially in regions with extremely low temperatures where their outstanding advantages become obvious. Also, it can be flexibly adapted to the application needs of all scenarios in the energy storage field. We now see that various new batteries are being investigated in the lab, but it oftentimes takes them five or even 10 years to reach market. Or will they be released soon. US and uh, China and also a large battery company, CATL, recently announced that uh, they will go on production actually in 2023. Even so, sodium ion batteries will eventually become the mainstream choice. Lithium ion batteries will be most likely used in upmarket vehicles, but for everyday use, we don't need the expensive lithium. This is as much of a revolution as the electric car itself, as we have finally found a cheaper and more viable battery option. When do you think we'll start seeing sodium ion batteries on the market? Anyways, that's just some food for thought. Thank you so much for watching and for your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Until the next time we meet again, take care and be safe.